Good afternoon, everyone. How the fuck are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty goddamn good. Um, I'm going to be replying to Happy Cabby this afternoon. So, um, first off, I want to say it's not going to be one of those videos where I'm shouting at Happy Cabby, call him an asshole because he fucked up and made me mad or something. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> if you're looking for that video, that that's not what's going to go on here. But he did bring up a topic that I'm interested in, that I, I've always been interested in, and that topic is prayer. Now, in Cabby's video, which I will link in the Sarah Han bar below, like always, you can watch it. It's short, sweet, to the point. Uh, but in Cabby's video, he's talking about how atheists react when a Christian, for example, will say to them, I'll pray for you. They're going through a hard time or some shit, and, and a Christian will say to you, You'll be in my prayers, or I'll pray for you, okay? Um, he's talking about how some people react as if it offends them. I'm sure it does offend a handful of atheists, and I'm not really sure why. To start, my reaction to a, a Christian saying to me that they'll, they'll pray for me, especially if it's someone that I don't know very well, is usually just a nod and a grin, and I, that's a wrap. Right, I don't say shit to them, I just let it go, kind of nod, kind of grin. But I never really say thank you. That's something I, I've caught myself doing. I never actually show any gratitude uh, because I'm not really grateful and I really don't feel that I should encourage them. While, while I don't feel like I should like burst out laughing and call them an asshole and get irate and shit, I also don't think that it's wise to encourage people to participate in such useless crap, right? Because, I mean, we know that's what it is. Right? When it comes to prayer, we know that it's crap. Right? I mean, we know that it's crap. I mean, there's no question about it. Um, I mean, flip a coin, huck salt over your shoulder, say a prayer, about the same results either way, right? Um, but I never really get offended. Now, you mentioned in your video, um, like, sometimes you'll read through your comment section, there'll be, some Christian who will say to you, I'll pray for you, and some atheist will come along and in, in a really angry manner will inform the theist that prayer is useless, it doesn't work, it's a pile of shit, and they almost seem offended by the very notion of it, by the very idea of it. And your theory is on YouTube that people feel safe, um, confronting people in a certain way on the Internet, and I think you're right about that. Um, However, your example about walking up to someone, say, in a chapel, in a hospital, um, who's praying for their loved ones, okay, w would you walk up to them, tap them on the shoulder, whisper in their ear, prayer is bullshit, it, it doesn't work, you're wasting your fucking time, none of this matters. Speaking for myself, I wouldn't do that because I'm not a complete prick. Let's face it, that, in that particular example, is just fucking rude. But I think there's a happy medium to find here, right, between being an outright dick and actually attempting to engage someone in a conversation wherein you explain to them that perhaps this prayer shit is useless and it doesn't work in general. You have to pick your spots, right? For example, um, you have to pick the right moment to tell your child there's no Santa Claus. You know, you wouldn't take your, your kid to bed on Christmas Eve, tuck him in, read him um, the night before Christmas, lay out cookies for Santa Claus, and then wake him up at about 3 a.m. to inform him, hey, by the way, I'm just fucking with you. Santa Claus isn't real. He's not coming. I left the fucking presents under the tree, and I'm going to eat the goddamn cookies while you're asleep. It, it's all a sham. I'm fucking with you. But you wouldn't do that. That's a dick move. But it is wise at some point to tell your child that it's it's a fantasy, it's, it's not real. I mean, I mean, that is the right thing to do at some point. I think we could agree on that. Now, what I'm getting at here is, like I said, personally, I'm not offended when someone tells me they're going to pray for me at a certain time, but I am indeed offended by the idea of prayer in general. I find it very offensive, and very dangerous, to be honest, because when we talk about prayer, we're not talking about Santa Claus anymore, are we? We're not talking about the fucking Easter Bunny. 
All right, we're not talking about things that eventually in our society it is revealed to us as we grow older that these things are indeed fantasy. They, they don't exist. And once we come to that understanding, we get it and, it, and it no longer has an impact on our lives, really at all, does it? Because we've written it off as fantasy. But when it comes to this act of prayer, there are people in the world that actually believe, they're full-grown, competent adults, that actually believe that not only is it not a waste of time and effort, that it actually gets results, real-world results. Um, and to me, that is a horrible fucking idea. Right? It's a horrible thing. I mean, the whole idea of God, um, in general, when we're talking in terms of like monotheism, is a horrible idea. But add to that this whole prayer bullshit where you can actually communicate with this deity and actually get this deity to act on your behalf is a very fucking dangerous thing to spread around. I mean, in your video, at, towards the end, you, you say, just accept people's religious practices. Just learn to accept what they believe and how they practice it and everything like that. And the only way I know how to respond to that suggestion is no. No, I, I won't. That To me, when, when somebody says that, I hear, just accept completely destructive, nonsensical bullshit. Just learn to live with it. Just accept it. I can't. Because I find the very idea absurd, dangerous. Fucking, it really is harmful to people. I mean, isn't it? If you really believe that this deity cares about you and you pray uh, for something that you're desperate to have come to pass, right? You, you pray for the health of someone that you absolutely love you, and, and you really think that this God cares and gets results. I mean, isn't that psychologically, emotionally fucking damaging to a person? I mean, we hear it all the time. You see it in movies, you read it in books, you actually hear people you know say it. Why did God do this to me? Why, why, why? And it's, to me, it's additional emotional distress that is completely unnecessary. If people, at, at the right moment, if you just pull someone aside and go, have you ever considered the possibility that that doesn't work at all? Hmm? Maybe. I mean, I find it a little bit um, comforting in a strange way that I don't have that the superstition, that I don't believe that I can communicate with this deity who will act on my behalf. Um, because, you know, not everything happens for um, some sort of divine reason. Sometimes in life, shit just happens. And I can accept that. That's a lot easier. That burden is far easier to bear than the idea of this loving God figure, I mean, the one that's sold to you as you're growing up, simply turning its back on you and acting as if it doesn't give a fuck and completely abandoning you. I mean, I, I would rather just slap the shit happens bumper sticker on my car as opposed to the little fish. And that puts my mind at ease. I, I can deal with that. Um, I think prayer is a fucking dangerous thing to encourage for that reason. I really honestly do. Um, so I'll leave it at that. When you when you say, just accept, no, no, I just won't. I, I just never will. Uh, there's there's a middle ground, right? You can not accept it and not be an asshole at the same time, right? But I think it's irresponsible to encourage something so destructive and useless as this practice people call prayer and put put so much stock in. I, I think it's I think, personally, it's my responsibility, in a way, to say something at the right time. That's just me, though. You guys have a good afternoon. Peace.